So now in this video, we're going to use the LM393 comparator integrated circuit. It's a dual comparator, and we're going to use both comparators in the circuit. So we're going to make a window comparator. And what that means is it's not high or low that ultimately determines whether the output is high or low. There's a range of uh, voltages between high and low when it comes to the uh, signal here where the output will be either high or low so it'll make more sense after we build it and do a demonstration of the circuit so it's a dual comparator we're going to use both of them the pin layouts are the same other than on both sides other than we have the positive side of the power supply coming to the top pin pin number eight over there and then on this side we have the uh, negative side of the power supply going to pin number four so they're the same pin layouts but they're shifted one spot so we have output inverting input non-inverting input output inverting input non-inverting input and so first thing we're going to do we're going to take a jumper and for this circuit we need to connect the two outputs together so either of uh, the outputs can set the output low so they don't set it high they just kinda turn off like a switch so we'll talk about that coming up if you don't know what I mean so the LED we want to light up when one of these two rows or both these rows are more positive because it's all one node now it's one conductive area connected together so put the long lead the anode there short lead the cathode up there because uh, LEDs are a type of diode they only conduct when you apply power in the right way unfortunately I bent that so good thing I didn't try to force that in there we go now we're going to take a 1 kilo ohm resistor and put that to the positive rail that's actually what provides the positive power whenever you see the red LED on current we're going to talk positive to negative conventional current currents flowing through the resistor and then through the LED when the LED is off power is off right now but when the power is on and the LED is off then current is sinking it's coming from the resistor and then going into one or both of the outputs and going to ground there it makes a direct connection through a transistor so now we got that wired up we have another little jumper here they don't really uh, stand out too much so I'm gonna put them in first what we're gonna do since uh, these are shifted one spot so one down we can connect going straight across the non-inverting input of that comparator to the inverting input of that one non-inverting is down there for that one so we can just put this jumper directly across there so make sure they're straight across there we go and uh, now we need to make a voltage divider to set the voltages that we're going to compare against so this resistor to this op amp goes to the inverting input right there and uh, we need three resistors and uh, to make this a little easier to understand before I add that resistor so that goes to the inverting input of that op amp the non-inverting of this op amp so that's the negative rail goes to the positive rail and so it's not a voltage divider yet in this case we're going to have to add a third resistor so these are all 10 kilo ohm resistors and what this does is it gives us one third and two thirds of the power supply voltage so we got one resistor coming here they're all equal value and then there's two on this side so that gives us one third of the power supply voltage because one third of the resistance is on this side and then over here we have one resistor going there and the two resistors on the uh, negative side of the circuit so it's closer to the positive side of the power supply so we'll get two thirds of our power supply voltage there that's like turning this one third of the way towards the positive rail or two thirds of the way to the positive rail which we're going to wire to the other two inputs so 
Actually, I put this one in the wrong spot. I put that where the jumper is. I want it where that resistor is. And uh, there you go. So yeah, now it's in the right spot. Now, this jumper we're going to put from the trim pot to right there. And we are done wiring. So this node here goes from, well, the trim pot. It's all one conductive area comes to the non-inverting input of that op amp or that uh, comparator and then the inverting input of that comparator and th that row over there. So, in any case, I don't really have any great way to explain a lot of this, so hopefully it just makes sense. So now, we're about halfway, the output is high when it comes to the trim pot. And so now, I'm going to go turn it towards the positive rail and you can see we're about two-thirds of the way towards the positive rail and the output went low and this this trim pot's kind of glitchy so it may kind of make false connections but uh, now we're back to about two-thirds of the way to the negative rail now but at about the two-thirds point we keep turning it to about the one-thirds point voltage wise so now we're about a third of the way to uh, the negative rail we have about a third of the power supply voltage coming out of the trim pot so there's a window between one third of the power supply voltage starting about there there's about halfway and there's about two thirds of the power supply voltage where the LED is on but it's a window it's in between two areas where the output is low so hopefully that made sense thanks for watching I will see you in the next video.